<laughs> Moving on now, because that's going nowhere. It's time for our next guest. The production company Working Dog have been responsible for some of this country's finest television shows. And along with two classic films, have cemented themselves and the characters they create as part of the Aussie landscape. Following the castle and the dish comes Any Questions for Ben, a new film about Josh Lawson's character, Ben, a bloke who has everything except... How's the serenity? No, not that. True love. Although a bit of peace and quiet may also help. Please welcome Josh Lawson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. This is a movie. You're an actor. Yeah. But am I right that the Working Dog team pretty much got the idea from your life? Yeah, no, 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 that's true. Um, I think I think the film technically qualifies as a documentary. Um, <laughs> we, I, I met Rob Sitch and the Working Dog guys yep. doing Thank God You're Here. Yeah. And we became friends. And I was telling them stories about my life at the time. You're which basically was... bragging about your conquests, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Little did I know that the exaggerations would eventually be turned into a movie. So what's the movie actually about? It's about a guy I play named Ben who seemingly has everything. He's got a great job and, you know, a nice car, good circle of friends, great apartment, hasn't had a girlfriend for longer than three months, he, you know, he never stays in the same job for longer than six months. And then he has this event in his life that makes him question all those things and makes him realise that perhaps they don't have much value and he goes out in search of what really matters. Mate, very, very funny film. And I've oh, seen yeah. it. Disappointingly, Carrie hasn't seen it yet. She hasn't but had time to see it. Do you know, it. Dave was oh. telling me it was so good. In fact, it was so good, Dave left his wife in a locked <laughs> bedroom at home so he could finish seeing the, the movie before he'd go home and save it. Yeah, I heard this. That's uh, true. Uh, yeah. well, well, true. I got a text message as I was walking mm -hmm. into the film. My wife said that she'd locked herself and the two kids in a bedroom mm. and I made a decision to watch the film. <laughs> What? I, nice. I had the phone with me. If yeah. had it been any crises, he, look, he slipped a muesli bar under the door. <laughs> that was fine. Your film does spend a lot of the time trying to woo Rachel Taylor. Right. Which that wooing continued on in in real life. You guys are now an icon. Yeah. No, it's a very uh, an unusual thing um, for yeah, a beautiful Two actors to hook up. A, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say for a beautiful woman to be in love with me, but uh, uh, yeah. no, it, it's unusual to yeah to meet like that. Uh, on set, I mean the the kiss that you see our characters when she grabs you, when she uh, well, attacks me. Uh, no, no. She look. There's a beautiful moment. We have a date uh, scene, and then when she kisses me in the movie, that's the first time we ever kissed in real life. Sexual tension. Yeah. <laughs> and, it was, <laughs> and that night we went out on our very first date. Yeah. Hang oh, on. Wait. 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 So that kiss. Mm. You started to feel something. Isn't that unprofessional? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's method acting. That's, but thank you, Dave. Wow. That's, method, yeah. method acting sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I really nailed that scene. After take, <laughs> after take 50, I think I got it. Yeah. Now, you've got a, you've got a show. Uh, it's going to be on, actually going to be on 10 at some stage I in the future. I just heard that. Ha House of Lies with Don Cheadle. Yeah. Which is based on a guy you play who isn't great at dating. Once again, were you ringing Don Cheadle, telling him stories about your life, and he decided to make a show out of it? What happened? Yeah, technically that's a documentary too. Uh, <laughs> different side of my life. Look, that is a show we're really proud of. Oh, we're showing some stuff here. Um, I'm so glad it's going to be on 10, by the way. I think it's a great place for it. And I play a guy named Doug Guggenheim, who is a, a bit of a social uh, misfit. Uh, very uptight Harvard grad. Um, but, yeah, he's a lot of fun Gee, to play. You're getting a lot of opportunities, aren't I you? I really am. I don't know how this happened. Um, <laughs> I really don't. I guess it means you've got to spend a lot of time in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, Those of us who visited, it's borderline LA, isn't it? I mean, you can have a great time, but it's not a great place to live. I totally agree with you. Yeah, look, it's, it's a necessary evil for most actors. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity over there. It's great to work. I, I can't say that I love living there. And I come back to Melbourne and this feels like home to me. Mm. Uh, but if for the time being, it makes sense to spend a lot of the year there to, uh, to continue and trying to get Back career. to the film, it is a great postcard of Melbourne. It's, oh, it really it, celebrates the city. Yeah, so. It's never looked better, I think. Mm. I mean, the city of Melbourne, I, I feel like the Working Dog yeah. guys have done to Melbourne what Woody Allen did to Manhattan. That's great, because no one's going to go and see this in Sydney now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't have brought that up. Uh, any questions for Ben opens everywhere this Thursday and House of Lies will be beginning soon on 10. Would you please thank the very questionable Josh Lawson. Thank you very much.